The National Film Board of Canada presents Animated Motion by Norman McLaren and Grant Monroe. Part four of a series of films in which McLaren comments on aspects of motion which the animator employs in his everyday work. So far, we have studied the main factors in animation, tempo and the five basic categories or qualities of motion, constant, accelerating, decelerating, zero, and irregular. We dealt with these factors singly, but they often occur in combination. To demonstrate this, let us turn our disc into a rod. The rod will rotate at a fast tempo and at the same time travel to the right at a slow tempo. Now the rod will rotate at a slow tempo while traveling at a moderate tempo. Now the rod will accelerate its rotation while decelerating its travel. Compound motion of this kind is very common. The combination of different motions by jointing and pivoting of parts is of particular concern to the animator, for it is the basis of most animal and human locomotion. On a static part, another part will pivot with a moderate, constant motion. Both parts will pivot with a slow and a fast, constant motion. Both will decelerate, both as a unit accelerate. This is the anatomy of a salute. One part pivots constantly, the other part pivots with acceleration. The steeper the acceleration, the crisper the salute. A gentle accelerating and decelerating action. A very steep acceleration down and an equally steep deceleration up. A gentle acceleration towards and a steep deceleration away from. Careful calibrating is essential to convey the precise emotion of each action. How does the animator convey varying degrees of emotion? Here is an action which is repeated with increasing amounts of emotional stress. The man is making a point in a discussion. He is calm and rational. The tempo of the downward and upward actions was slow and the moves constant. Now he makes his point more firmly. The downward moves have become a gentle acceleration. The upward moves remain constant. Now he is quite emphatic. A steep acceleration down and a steep deceleration up. Now he is defiant. The up and down were even steeper and the overall tempo more rapid. Almost all human actions are complex. For example, a man jumping off a stool. Notice the delicate interplay of accelerations, decelerations, and constants. Before leaving motion, we must examine a phenomenon peculiar to frame-by-frame -frame animation. Notice how the edges shudder when the disc moves. This is called strobing. It happens because the edges of the disc are hard instead of blurred, as with a disc shot normally at 24 frames a second. When in motion, the blurred edges reduce the strobing effect. 
The slower a hard edge image moves, the less noticeable is the strobing. Until, about this tempo, the strobing begins to disappear. When slower than this, the strobing completely disappears. Is the strobing less with a black image on white or a white image on black? When the contrast between image and background is diminished, is there less strobing? Is the strobing less when the color contrast or saturation is diminished? To sum up, high contrast and fast tempos accentuate strobing, low contrast lessens it, and slow tempos get rid of it altogether. This completes our study of animated motion. The main factor is tempo, which overrides everything. Then come the five basic categories or qualities of movement. Constant, accelerating, decelerating, zero, and irregular. Apart from motion, there remains one major element in animation. This we will deal with in the next part of our series. Part 4, End